guess what I got running? My beautiful fleet side here. Love this thing. I'm actually headed over here to my weed row. Uh, I just think I found something over here. What do we have here? Yes, we got a few old cultivators. I want to get out of here and see if we can get them running. Let's get to it. I just love how my Apache sounds. Man, is that thing a beast. Whew. Love this old thing. I mean, you would think this has a huge muffler on it and everything. No, just one tip. Yep, just one tip. Love the wooden bed down there. Just loving it. So we actually have uh, three implements. My cousin actually found these. So her and Jim go walking or just uh, for long walks. Uh, I don't know. It's just something they like to do as a couple. And they just stumbled across these in a rebro. I had no idea they were here. Uh, cultivating is like a lost art. And I'm going to bring it back. So these are old John Deere cultivators. Eight row cultivators. So uh, mostly they're going to kill the weeds. We have a cornfield that has a few weeds in it. And uh, the best thing these do is kind of disturb the ground. So the ground get, that ground got a little crusty. Uh, it's a little hard. So I'd like to disturb it. And I'm going to incorporate the nitrogen I'm going to apply to it. I'm all running back here and I forgot to bring the truck back. Such an idiot. That way I won't lose so much nitrogen to the atmosphere. And I got... And I get to do the, the old-fashioned technique. I grew up in a cultivator. Many summers I spent going back and forth in a cultivator. Many memories. Thought I'd uh, break them out here and uh, start cultivating my fields again. Nothing's better than running a cultivator. So I need to go over here first and see if uh, my cousin can help me out today. So, yep, I see her truck over there already. Let's see if she's in here. Design beast, huh? Okay. Apparently my cousin is a beast. All right, so my cousin's sick. So I want to stay away from her, especially nowadays, stay away from sick people. So I hope her the best. I'm going to bring her some medicine here, but she is not going to be able to help us today. So she's out of the question. So apparently we're just running one cultivator. So I'm going to head to the store, get some chicken noodle soup, a whole bunch of medicine for my cousin, and then uh, I'll leave it on the door and knock and uh, yeah. Definitely don't want to spread diseases nowadays, so I'm going to stay far away from her. Alright, so now we got to figure out what are we going to use on the cultivator. Who's calling me? Good news. I guess my cousin called Jim. Jim's going to, he always wanted to do, he grew up cultivating fields too, so he wants to come down just uh, to run the cultivator. He said he's gonna bring his challenger. So uh, that's cool. So now we only need one tractor. 8330, I don't want it. It's just way overkill. Way too much horsepower to run an eight row cultivator. These cultivators ain't putting shanks down in the ground. I know we have a crusty ground and we need to break up a little bit compaction, but we don't got that much compaction. Versatile, yeah, it's out, yep not gonna that's gonna run over corn like it's going out of style there with them big fatties on there the good old 4620 wouldn't be a bad choice but uh i don't know it, it is high boy which is good because this corn is it's a little bit late to be cultivating let's just say so it's knee high but we're gonna cultivate it snow we're gonna cultivate slow so i don't think we're gonna have a huge issue mm, i don't know I, I don't really. F I think the 4440, uh, it's just a uh, nostalgic American tractor. So why not use 
the 4440. So I'm going to unhook this, get this unhooked here, and the feed wagon. I'll have to take off the loader and hopefully pull out one of them cultivators. We might have to put some more weights on the front of this. So they are uh, three point mounted, so it's all that weight is on the rear of the tractor. This uh, 4440 is open station, but it ain't exactly light, I want to say. So, it's one of my favorite tractors. I love running this 4440. Of course, we're going to leave the duels on, just because I need that traction. Ooh, duck your head, duck. Alright, we got it pulled out of here. Just got to cut down some of these brushes here, and I think I can get this back. Check a few bearings, see if we need some more shanks and everything. Not a lot to this. We're going to have to make sure we grease it up. There might be some bushings bad on it, but uh, otherwise there's not a lot to a cultivator, to be honest. There we go. Pulling it down now. Get this back, put it in our shop. Shouldn't take long. Have to probably make a parts run. I still need to go make a medicine run for a cousin, and then uh, we should get at it. I'm going to have to get the sprayer running. There's that cultivator. I'm going to have to go through this quickly because we need to get this done today, and I need a spray before it gets too windy out there. Man, that's going to be a good looking rig. Man brings back memories already. Looks like I'm going to have to adjust the three point here. It's a little bit off, but uh, all right. And maybe, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like my front end is lifting too much here. So I might put a few more uh, suitcase weights on there. I might not, I don't know. All right, so I got the Kenworth running here. It's hooked up to our uh, tank. So we're going to hook this up to the sprayer, get that out in the field, spray a little bit. Uh-oh, this is going to be tricky-icky. We have a tight fit right here. Alright, we don't have much room whatsoever. Yep. Wow, look how tight that is. Oh, got to watch out for the booms on the sprayer. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to back and forth this a few times. Alright, we are clear. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Just barely missed. What a good looking rig this is. Love this spring combination here. Works out so convenient. Haven't gotten much custom spraying jobs, which I was kind of hoping I would get, but uh Looks like most people just own a sprayer nowadays. Alright, now I'll fold that up. You're done. So a lot of you are probably asking, why are, don't you just spray for the weeds? I know. So we have a annoyance vine weed that we can't really kill. So it's pretty prevalent in this uh, field over here. Let's go over here and look. We got a few weeds. You can see the weeds in here. So... Uh, we got a, a few annoyance weeds. We'll kill probably 80% of these weeds just by spraying. So we are going to spray a little weed killer in here, but uh, some weed dope. But uh, we're going to mostly put fertilize, and then we're going to incorporate that fertilize in when we cultivate it. Check the roadway. All right. Unfold the booms. Look at them things. This is one of my favorite things to do. Is them booms are huge. That's what she said. Oh, I think that's Jim coming over here. Yeah. Jim's bringing his little challenger. So that's a smaller tractor, so that should be all right to cultivate. Like I said, we don't need a lot of horsepower. A nice little old uh, chore tractor, I guess. All right, we're spraying along. Do you guys want to see this sprayer in action? Let's do a little montage.
Alright, just like that, we're already done. Doesn't take long when you can spray like a banshee. I know we're running over crops, so I'm trying to go down the rows as best as possible, but you run over stuff when you're spraying corn, usually. We don't have a four-wheel steer, so we definitely run over stuff when we turn. Alright, that's loaded up. Fire this boy up. Head back. Alright, Jim is already here. He has his torn apart, so I have the parts list for all this. I know what we need. I'm going to have to make a run up to the John Deere dealer really quick. Grab them parts, put them on, and hopefully we can get started here in a few hours. I know, I mean, we're basically taking these out of the weed row and putting them into the ground in less than a few hours. Pretty impressive, but this old steel can get it done there's not a lot of moving parts so just a few bushings a few bearings that might be rusted shut uh we've got a, some shanks we'll probably have to replace but nothing too major of course i'm going to take this opportunity to use my beautiful new fleet side all right looks pretty empty around here Let's see pick up these parts head back quick all right that's done we have a truck full of parts we need to go put on shiny new parts on an old cultivator I know I did not forget about my cousin so we got her a few drugs get hopefully get her feeling better don't want her to come down with the illness too bad at least all right drop these off I think I'm just gonna put her put these in I think I'm just gonna put these into I think I'm just gonna leave these over here on the step right here yep all right yep 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 stay away from her don't want the sickness love these old speedometers in this thing just man Wish they would make that type of stuff still. Old mechanical speedometer. Pretty cool, I think. Love the simpleness, the simpleness in this cab. Just so cool, I think. All right, we should get all these uh, parts on, and we should get in the field. Alright, so we got both cultivators ready to go, so we basically just did a quick uh, overhaul of each refurb, whatever you want to call it. It is kind of weird that this uh, John Deere 4440 sits up a little bit higher than the old uh, Challenger here. So this is a Challenger, which, what is this again? I think it's a 555, so it's, yeah, MT555D. I don't know why Challenger doesn't just put the horsepower on the tractor itself uh, it's a little bit odd but let's look in this thing. So this thing is really nice he has ag leader in it uh, the only thing I don't like about Challenger it still has that monitor I'm not crazy about that them small monitors so they need to get something like the the 1000 series has I don't remember the, the actual name of that monitor but it has uh, all the implements fairly good most of the controls are right on the armrest right there so pretty nice little tractor especially for a little loader tractor like he uses it for worked nice cultivating all right guess we're taking off over here we're going wow jim's got a lead foot i see that's one thing him and my cousin have in common don't think the old John Deere 4440 can keep up with that new Challenger. That thing goes... Wow, look at that thing. It's leaving... Uh, we're, uh, 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 man, should have probably went before Jim. Now I'm eating his dust, literally. Uh. 
Jim, uh, that's a stop sign right there. Now that we're on the hard surface roads, at least we're not eating the dust like we were on the country roads, but it doesn't really matter by the time, as far as Jim is up there, we, uh, basically, uh, the dust will be settled. There's our alfalfa field. Looks like we need to start, uh, cutting that down here soon. Alright, this is our little, uh, cornfield over here. With our knee-high corn. Yeah, it's a little bit tall to be doing this, but we'll be okay. We'll just go really slow. Alright, I think Jim's waiting for me to start in here. Alright, got Jim started running there. Just making sure he wasn't going too deep or anything. So now we gotta get this old girl running. Uh, the problem with this field is we don't have no in rows, so we kinda just have to uh, pick where the planter went. Put the old beast down, follow our rows here, make sure we're not driving over corn. And yeah, this is it. This is cultivating. I know this is probably seems pretty boring to most of you, but uh, this is actually pretty relaxing. I miss doing this. So cultivating all day, watching your tire all day long or your front of your hood. I always watch the tire. We did have what they call, uh, it mounted to the three point. It basically, it moved the cultivator so it actually followed the cultivator, the row, kind of guide you to the most part. But if you fell asleep, it would uh, get off. So I never got to cultivate with uh, any type of guidance or whatever. My guidance was my uh, my two eyes and my two hands, basically. So this is going to take a little while to cultivate this, but I think it'll really help the yield here. As you can see, we are really killing all them weeds down there. Oh, I think I got over one row. Yep, I'm missing a row there. Oops. So really hard to tell before guidance and GPS and all that it was really easy to tell the rows you needed to get into because uh, you could always see the gap there was always some type of gap some type of deformity in that row even the best planters would be leaving a gap and you could tell the deformity and it was easy to find the row you needed to be on all right so this is a little bit tricky we got some of the cultivator out on the row over here, out in the regular non-field, but it's all right. We'll just uh, cultivate a little, up a little bit of grass. Raise that thing up, back straight up. Watch out for these trees. We uh, This is the only tricky part. If I would have known we were going to cultivate this, I would have put some headlands in here. All right, we are cultivating away. Jim is right behind us, pushing us along here. Cultivating side by side. This is kind of cool. So Jim definitely has a nicer tractor. He uh, he enjoys the summer air, so he has the back window and the side door open. I I don't have to open up my door or windows. Yep. Jim, you forgot a weed right here. Don't turn around in the corn, Jim. You know, I think this would be a great time to show a little montage.
All right, so we are just, uh, what are we, about halfway done here. Uh, the cultivator, no issues. Not a lot of moving parts on it, so not a huge ordeal. Looks like Jim's about ready to cut another pass over, over there. We got all that done on to that side. But, uh, man, this is going nicely. Brings back memories. Good old memories of going up and down the field in the hot old summer weather. I don't know if them are good memories. Yeah, you always rem remember the good stuff. You don't forget about the stuff of basically uh, sweating your uh, behind off, getting a little uh, s swamp, uh, you know what? S swamp butt going on? You know that. But, uh, thank you all for watching. And I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. Best thing about the summertime in open station, once you're driving fast, you got the wind in your hair. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Make sure you like the video.